Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare review, which are some of my favorite videos to film actually. So I'm going to be reviewing the Pacifica skincare line. I have like six products that I've been testing out for, I want to say almost a year, and I want to talk about them. This was the skincare line that I used exclusively prior to switching over to Drunk Elephant. I will link my previous video about that up in the cards as well as down below, but this is what I used um, most of 2017. So I'm going to start off with the face wash. This is the Seafoam Complete Face Wash. It helps remove makeup, it cleanses and it tones. Typically with skincare you shouldn't necessarily be looking for something that smells good because at the end of the day fragrance is just something that's added. It doesn't actually do anything for your skin and for a lot of people who have sensitive skin it can cause irritations and like all kinds of scientific things. However, this smells so good. It's like coconut water and I absolutely love it. This is a very gentle cleanser. It foams, has a nice lather to it, nothing too extreme. You get five fluid ounces. Pacifica is not cheap, but if you compare it to something like Drunk Elephant, it is pretty cheap. So in the spectrum of like drugstore, it's a little bit higher than maybe Clean and Clear Neutrogena, but it's cruelty-free, it's vegan, it's really nice, it's really gentle on the skin. I've never had a bad reaction to any of the products that I'm talking about, and I absolutely love this because it performs well, but honestly, the smell just makes me happy to use it, and I'm almost out. This one has the same exact scent, and it is the Coconut Water Micellar Cleansing Tonic. It's a rinse-free cleanse, and it removes stubborn makeup and tones your skin. I use it as a toner or on days when I'm honestly too lazy to wash my face. Like I'll remove my makeup because I don't wear foundation. I just wear eye makeup But sometimes I am too lazy to like pull out the Clarisonic and pull out all the steps of my skincare And that's when I pull this out which obviously I don't condone that type of behavior But you know sometimes things happen. This smells amazing again. It's super gentle on the skin It does remove makeup, but I don't use it for that purpose I just use it as a way to refresh my skin but I do really like it and I do recommend it. Okay, moving on to these scrubs. These are exfoliators. I don't use these as often because I have the Clarisonic now. So the first one is the Rice Spray Skin Illuminating Smoothing Paste. So this is supposed to brighten, tone, and gently refine. It has rice and lemongrass and it's for all skin types, especially dry. It's a nice, gentle exfoliator. It says you can use it every day, which I don't recommend ever doing. Best use on damp skin, morning and night. I only use it like once, maybe twice a day. It's a nice exfoliator. It's very gentle. It performs well as a scrub. It's 2.5 fluid ounces. I hate how small these are, but it does get the job done for what it's claiming. I just, I love my Clarisonic now. I'm hooked, so I probably wouldn't be going back to these types of scrubs. I mean, I have, but very sparingly. I can't see myself repurchasing these, but the cleanser is nice, and so is the toner. So this one is the Glow Baby Salvation Walnut Scrub. This polishes away impurities, and it has rose hips, flax, and coconut. Smells great. Very gentle on the skin. This is perfect if your skin gets irritated by things very easily. It gives you that nice, like, exfoliated feeling without leaving your skin feeling, like, raw and irritated. Alright, so we're down to the last two products. This is the one that I'm almost out of. It is the Coconut Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. This is supposed to boost hydration, fight a skin hangover, and it has, again, that coconut water that I'm obsessed with and vegan probiotics. So, this is supposed to be, like... This smells so good. This is supposed to be like a super hydrating thing that you put on. I like it. I just don't feel like it gave my skin enough hydration. Like water is the very first ingredient and you can tell. Like there's something about the texture that is really nice. But to me, my skin, even though I have combo oily, so I didn't even think that I was that dehydrated, needed a little bit more help than this could provide. This is a hard one to really review accurately. It feels great on the skin. I do feel like sometimes I like something a little bit more heavier. I guess we could put it that way. But I do recommend it, especially if you catch this on sale. Last but not least is the more recent one that I started using. This is the Cactus and Kale Oil Free Renewal Lotion. It is weightless hydration and it has cactus, kale, and rose extract. I like it. I like this one a little bit more. This one's more like day-to-day -day type thing. Even though this one might be a little bit more hydrating than this one, it just doesn't smell as good. Which again, it's not about the fragrance. It's about the performance. Water is the first ingredient in this one too, but somehow it feels a little bit more moisturizing. Or not even moisturizing, but the consistency feels a tiny bit heavier. I forgot one more product. So this is the Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. So it has like some complex with concentrated floral stem cells and like antioxidants. This one has like the most claims, like it's supposed to have a, like a lifting effect, deeply moisturize, improve skin's radiance. And it is 1.7 fluid ounces. I think it's almost the most expensive one out of the bunch. It's like. 18 19 dollars it's been a while since i purchased these or even look at the prices i like it but it didn't blow me away like just like i was like oh this one's not as moisturizing i still prefer this one over this one just because it's really cute packaging and the claims are nice but i don't feel like it really performed that well it just felt like a very light face moisturizer almost like a daytime moisturizer and i remember putting this on and then feeling like i needed a little bit of this to just 
get my skin to feel, you know, really nice and moisturized. So those are my thoughts on these products from Pacifica. I do enjoy the brand a lot. I like their makeup. I like their skincare. I like the way it smells. I like their brand and the message behind what they stand for. Sometimes I'm a little stingy. I'd catch this on a sale at Ulta and I would pick them up. Let me know if you have anything from Pacifica that you really like because I want to give this brand more more love because I do enjoy these and I will finish up the scrubs even though I'm using my Clarisonic I will find a way to finish these because I really like them. Anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!